Hello everyone, it's PCL Pehe. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix error 7 could not connect to the session service for the game Valorant. So according to Valorant support, you might be having this issue because you might have a suspension on your account. So please check your email for more information. It could also be a platform issue. So if you are not having a suspension on your account and secondly, if the Valorant servers are up and working, in that case, I can help you. But if you are having a suspension or if the Valorant servers are down, in that case, I cannot do anything. All we can do is just wait for the servers to get up or wait for the suspension to get up for it from your account. So if you are not having a suspension and Valorant servers are up, so just follow all the steps I'll show you and you'll be able to fix this problem. So without any further ado, let's get started. So each and every step involved in this video is really important. So the first step is clean booting your PC. By the way, all the steps involved in this video are similar to the steps involved in the video I made for fixing hyping issues. But a lot of users were asking me to make a separate video for this problem. That's why I'm making this video. So if you don't know how to clean boot your PC, I've already made this guide on how to clean boot. I will provide you the link of this video in the description. It is a really important step because it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts in your PC. So if you don't know how to clean boot, check the description of this video, check out this video, clean boot your PC and then proceed to the second step. Now let's come to the second step, again a really important step. Go to your search bar and type cmd and press enter. So it will open up your command prompt and here type ping and after it type 1.1.1.1 and press enter. Wait for the response and here the average ping is around 8 ms and now write ping 18.8.8.8 8 .8 .8 .8 and press enter and wait for the average response and average response is around 9 ms. So in this case the difference is not significant but in your case it might be a significant difference but whichever is better for you even by 1 ms choose that one for me it is 1.1.1.1. So now what you have to do is, after observing this, search for network. In network, go to view network connections and select whichever network you are connected to right now. So right now I am connected to my Wi-Fi. Double click on it and go to its properties. In its properties, go to internet protocol version 4 and double click on it again. And here, by default it is on obtain DNS server address automatically. Here use the following DNS server address. Select it and here type whichever was working better for you. For me, it was 1.1.1.1 and the second line type 1.1.4.4. But if in your case 8.8.8 .8 was better for you, so in the first line enter 8.8.8.8 and the second line write 8.8.4.4. So instead of 1, place 8 everywhere and click on OK. Again click on OK and close these settings and that's it for the second step. So in the third step, we'll be port forwarding. So I'll show you how to do so. In the search bar, write Windows Firewall and go to Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. Wait for it to open, go to Inbound Rules and you have to create a new rule. But before creating a new rule, you should have the ports. So I will provide you these ports in the description of this video so you can just copy and paste from there. I'm copying from portforward.com. So first, copy everything in front of TCP. After this, go back here, create a new rule, wait for it to load, go to port, select port and click on next. Here select TCP as, have, as we have copied the TCP ports first and paste them here. Once you have pasted it here, click on next, click on allow the connection, click on next, select everything here, click on next and give it the name Valorant and finish. Once you have done it, now select UDP, every, all the numbers in front of UDP and now again create a new rule and now again the same procedure port but this time we will be selecting UDP port. Paste them here, click on next, allow the connection, next and name Valorant, Valorant and finish. So that's it for port forwarding. So now most probably your issue will be fixed, but if it's still not fixed, proceed to the last step. So the last step is a really simple one, but sometimes it might really help a lot in fixing these type of problems. So search for CMD again and here type ipconfig slash 
give it a space before slashing and type flush f l u s h d n s flush dns and press enter windows ip configuration successfully flushed the dns resolver cache so that's it once you have flushed your dns then again try running your game and it might help you so i hope you like this video and it helped you so if it works for you please leave a like on this video if you have any query write in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe for more thank you and have a nice day